All right, part two of CR. Uh, just a couple of things on artifacts and errors and kind of terms that you should know. Um, one of the main ones would be the ghosting error or the ghost image that you might find on CR. And that is an error with the erasing. And as we know from our previous video that the CR plate is erased using a bright white light. Well, here you can see, it, we call it a double image. Um, so this is actually, I think a horse or something, um, not a patient x-ray, but you can kind of see the shadow over here of this lead marker. Um, also this area over here looks less dense. So what happened was they took an exposure on this CR plate, processed it. It didn't erase fully, but the machine, the processing machine put it back into the um, outer casing and it was used as an exposure again. Well, we're getting the new exposure, but we still have a faint sort of shadow or a ghost image of the original. And usually you can see the person's marker. Um, so if this happens to you, you're unfortunately gonna have to repeat it. Um, and if you do a big exposure, um, you have a big patient, you have to use a higher technical factors, I would recommend erasing twice um, to prevent this from happening. Um, but so ghost error or ghost image is a CR error that you'll see and it's an issue with the erasing process, which is a bright white light. Roller malfunction error. Um, so you can see this clear line, um, something happened within the rollers. And if you remember with the CR plate, it takes that imaging plate through a set of rollers inside that CR processor. And if there's a malfunction, um, when it's scanning, it can be under the beam for a longer amount of time where it's not supposed to be. Um, and so this whole section ended up being a lot brighter than up here. Um, and so this artifact was right through the area of anatomy. So that would most likely have to be repeated. Here's another one. This is a complete malfunction. There's a bright line here. And then this is completely um, not exposed. Um, there's a white line here going through um, that I think had dirt on the rollers possibly. So it happens. And then this one you'll probably see um, more than the roller issue, but it's called a moray pattern. It happens with um, an error with the CR grids and it's called a wave-like pattern. So it almost has, it clearly has grid lines going through your picture, right? You can see it looks like um, sort of bad lines coming through here. They have kind of a wavy appearance. So if you see the term wave-like artifact or wave-like grid error, it's gonna be this one, it's the moray pattern. Um, it's actually an error with how the laser is scanning the CR um, and it's parallel to the grid lines here, so CR grid error, you're gonna get a moray effect, which is a wave-like appearance, okay? Some general about artifacts. Um, the cassettes and imaging plates should be cleaned. Uh, believe it or not, it's a technologist's responsibility, whether you've seen it done or not. Um, they easily collect dust, so you really wanna make sure that if you are somewhere that's using the CR plates, <laughs> that they're getting cleaned. Um, and I know for us, we're transitioning basically to all digital, so they're just not used as much or as often. So if you have to take one out or the scoliosis cassette that we have is CR, um, so that will need to be kind of checked for dust and cleaned, watch for any um, scratches. And if you see it, something on your image itself, you're seeing like a bright white line through the anatomy, it's most likely a scratch that's on the CR um, imaging plate itself. Part of the protective coating might have gotten scratched off, um, so you're getting a scratch on the plate. Um, so it should be cleaned with a solution that's assigned by the vendor, whatever they specified that you're gonna clean it with. And um, they should be wiped down after every patient, you know, your basic infection control stuff. And check your hinges. <laughs> if there's a hinge issue, um, if you're putting it in the CR reader and you're getting an alert, it's not taking the plate out. It's most likely an issue with the hinges, those little locks on the outside um, protective area. And, you know, with your infection controls, 
Try, just like you do with your DR cassettes, put a bag over it, If and then you're gonna use your cleaning wipes. Don't use cleaning solution. Do not pour a cleaning solution down into your cassette, pretty please. There are some advantages and some disadvantages of everything, right? But some advantages of CR over film um, was you no longer needed a dark room. We no longer needed like the processing chemicals and all of that. Um, we now have packs. It increased our speed. There's lower patient dose because uh, we can use lower techniques. And then, you know, CR and now with DR, um, there's fewer repeats due to under overexposure because of all of the computer applications that are provided. There's pro processing capabilities. We can, you know, change things around. We'll talk about that in a second. And then disadvantages. One of the things that it could be possibly leading to and with digital itself is something we call dose creep. Um, so dose creep is actually a pattern of radiation exposures that are being increased by clinicians over time just to make sure that they have a quality image. Um, so watching your exposure index numbers, knowing the ranges for your exposure index numbers for each set of equipment is important. Where should, where's my target? Um, should I be between 100 and 300? Am I using a direct digital? Do I have a grid on? Things like that is um, just really important to be aware of.